Hi guys, welcome to this seventh tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with MPLAB XC8 compiler. In this tutorial, we are going to do our very first project, a digital thermometer. In this tutorial, we are going to do our first project we're going to apply what we have learned in the previous tutorial, the analog to digital converter, to design a digital thermometer. Temperature sensors are very important in many projects, especially in temperature logging devices and alarms. An analog temperature sensor will be used to read the temperature. The microcontroller will convert this analog voltage representing the temperature into digital format and display it continuously on an LCD display. We're gonna split this tutorial into two parts to avoid to make it too long. The first part is gonna be the circuit design and in the second part we're gonna write our code. Let us design our circuit. Almost any peak microcontroller with an analog to digital converter module could be used for this application. Let us use the PIC 18F2580. On the library, you can search for PIC 18F2580. Click OK. This is going to be the peak that we're going to use for this tutorial. It's a small 28 pins peak microcontroller with 8 10 bit analog channels. It has internal oscillator, so we won't need an external crystal oscillator. And it has 32 kilobyte of program memory, which is more than enough for this application. The second component that we're going to need is an LCD display to display our temperature. Search for LCD. We're going to use the 16 by 2 lines LCD. Click OK. The other component that we're going to need, we're going to need a variable resistor to vary the contrast of the LCD variable click on resistors gonna use the active one click ok this variable resistor is gonna be used to vary the contrast of the lcd and the last component that we're gonna use is a temperature sensor we're gonna use the lm35 click ok let me flip this one in the x axis and that's all this we need only four component to design this project i guess some of you are really surprised how can we design a digital thermometer with just four component but guys this is the beauty of using peak microcontrollers it highly simplifies the number of component that can be used for any project but you must remember in this project, the power supply is not included. This circuit should be powered by a regulated 5 volt DC power supply. The LM35 series are precision integrated circuit temperature sensors from Texas Instrument. Their output is linearly proportional to the Celsius temperature scale. Its output changes by 10 millivolt per degree Celsius. This basically means at zero degree Celsius, this device is gonna generate an output of zero volt. At 10 degrees, the output voltage is gonna be 100 millivolt, and at 30 degrees, the output is gonna be 300 millivolt. The LM35 does not require any external calibration. It's calibrated directly in degree celsius it has an accuracy of 0.5 degree celsius at about 25 degree celsius this device 
can measure temperatures from minus 52 degrees to plus 150 degrees Celsius range. This sensor operates from 4 volt up to 30 volt. So you can supply a power source from 4 volt up to 30 volt. You can learn more about this device from its data sheet that can be accessed from Texas Instrument website. If you go to Texas Instrument slash product slash LM35, you can see all the technical specification of the LM35. There are also other analog temperature sensors that could be used, like the LM34. Click OK which is basically similar to the LM35, but its output is calibrated in degrees Fahrenheit, unlike the LM35, which is calibrated in degrees Celsius. Its output, its output is also linearly proportional to the Fahrenheit temperature scale. It generates 10 millivolt per degree Fahrenheit. It has an accuracy of one degree Fahrenheit at plus 77 degrees Fahrenheit. It can measure temperatures from minus 50 degrees to plus 300 degrees Fahrenheit range. Another popular analog temperature sensor in this LM series is the LM50. LM50. This temperature sensor is also similar to this LM35 but it can measure negative temperatures without any external component. The LM50 output voltage is 10 millivolt per degree Celsius plus 500 millivolt offset. Thus, the output is 500 millivolt at zero degrees Celsius. This is gonna be 100 millivolt at minus 40 degrees and it's gonna be 1.5 volt at 100 degrees Celsius. This sensor can measure temperatures from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 125 degrees Celsius range. It has an accuracy of plus minus 2 degrees Celsius at 25 degrees Celsius. In this application, we are going to use the LM35. So let us delete these other temperature sensors delete delete let us build our circuit we're gonna start with the lcd data 4 is gonna be connected to port rb0 i'm gonna connect my lcd to port b d5 to rb1 d6 to rb2 and d7 to rb3 the enable bit is going to be connected to RB4 and the RS bit is going to be connected to RB5. The read write pin could be connected to RB6 but to save some few pins of the microcontroller I'm going to connect it to ground because I'm not going to read anything from the LCD. Okay, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to connect it to ground. Click on ground. Okay. The next thing we're going to connect is our temperature sensor. It's very easy to connect the LM35 to a peak microcontroller. The V out pin is connected to the analog channel. We're going to connect it to channel 0. Pin 3 should be connected to ground. And pin 1 should be connected to the power supply. In this case, we're going to connect it to, five, to plus 5 volt. Power supply. Plus 5 volt. Click OK. OK. And the last component to connect is my variable resistor. The wiper pin 
should be connected to VEE of the LCD. By varying this knob, the contrast of the LCD will be changed. VDD should be connected to positive plus 5 volt and VSS should be connected to ground. And the, the variable resistor is going to be connected to positive 5 volt and to ground. Let me just create, let me just put another ground here. So that it's gonna look a little bit neat, but you can use the same ground, it's still gonna be the same. Thank you guys. This is all for this circuit. It's very simple. We're not gonna use an external oscillator because we're gonna use a built-in oscillator. And because there is no need for this circuit to reset it, I'm, we're not gonna connect a reset circuit on the MCLR pin. We're gonna disable it in the code. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of any new tutorials. And I'm gonna see you guys in part two. Thank you.